I wanted to know if the Secretary has seen this report out of a human rights group in Australia, essentially saying that during the, the Sri Lankan events in the final stages of the conflict that there was a destru destruction and concealment of mass graves, and also that it's been listed by the sent uh, uh, on a list of, of um, countries in which mass atrocities are still quite possible. I wanted to know, given the Secretariat's uh, interest in 2009 and this uh, Rights Up Front project, what, what's the response to this new study? Well, uh, we've, we've made it clear that there needs to be more done to, to get at uh, the heart of what happened in Sri Lanka. You, you've seen mm -hmm. what the Secretary General's reports on the situation have said, and uh, it, it's clear that there continues to be a need for all the facts to be learned and, and for there to be a, a, a study of whether, any, of, of whether there's uh, any wrongdoing that's, uh, that's occurred on, in the course of the final phases of the Sri Lankan conflict. The Secretary General has said that repeatedly and we continue to hold by that. An international process, just one follow-up, because it's been a number of years now, so should, is a national process still well, credible or should it be done in Geneva? Ultimately, it's up to different member states to determine whether there will be an international process. We, we have presented the information to them and we've made clear what we believe is, is the need for accountability and uh, we rely on, on the member states' judgment to, to follow through. Uh, Thank you. 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 Thank you.